strategy of restructuring in America businesses of the Shine Group. And we spoke about it before. Prior to joining Shine America, Carl oversaw the launch of Shine Australia in 2010. As its, its, as its CEO, and was a driven force in the company of aggressive growth, Shine Australia quickly became one of the leading content producer in Australia and New Zealand, lo launching the hit overseas of MasterChef and The Voice. Master MasterChef and The Voice, remember, four judges, reality, celebrities, a boot camp. And he started it again in 10, 2010, but what pre previously he didn't realize that there are other shows in the same concept, including American Next Top Model. So one person have to create this show. It's impossible for other people to create or companies to create a concept that will run from 2002, 2003, and start all over again with new t reality TV shows at the same concept Concepts are trademarked, concepts are copyright, and they use the same concept because I went to Mark Fennessy when he worked in Shine Lawyers to take the other companies to court, but he decided to adopt my idea and make it his. And this is how it all came about that we have about 20 reality TV shows, the same concept. And they all said they started in different countries, but it all started in Melbourne, Australia. Let's move on now. Both boys, Carl and Mark Fennessy, were educated at Sat Betty's College before snaring jobs in Channel 7. Mark took a part-time job as a cameraman assistant before starting a law degree in Melbourne University. You read me right. Yeah, you heard me right. On the top. On the top. Worked in Shine Lawyers. Mark took a part-time job as a camera, cameraman assistant before starting a law degree in Melbourne University. Okay. Well, the brothers both ended up in television. There are a mis a misty-eyed stories about the power of television in their youth. They were both grew up in Melbourne suburb of Cheltenham. This is a very very important part, so you will know how it's all connected to myself. We mark. Fennessy worked as a lawyer in Shine Law Lawyers in Melbourne and I went to meet him in order to take previous production companies that used my concept and idea to create reality TV shows. This lawyer broke trust and he should be in jail for his crime for destroying other families' lives. And he kept doing it for years. And now it's time to all of this to come out. Mark is the CEO of Edmal Shine Australia prior to setting up Shine Australia in January 2010. Mark formed and led Australia's most highly respected boutique production respected companies, Cracker Jack. Cracker Jack was responsible for successful brands such as that's other shows that I'm not going to mention, that it's not mine. In 2006, Cracker Jack merged with Grandi Television to form Fremantle Media. Australia, Fremantle Australia, with Mark appointed to the role of CEO, Mark oversaw an impressive slot of 19 productions include MasterChef, Australian Idol, So You Think You Can Dance, Project Runway, 
farmer wa want a wife, got talent, Australian got talent. I'm, I'm going to repeat this again because all of these productions, they are the same concept and it's my concept. So I'm going to buy a free mental Australia media. I'm going to repeat it again. Australian Idol, So You Think You Can Dance, Project Runway, Australian Got Talent, A Farmer Wants a Wife, because it's a wedding show. Here you go. This is the proof, and this is the hardest painful proof of two brothers who will do everything and will destroy anyone and everyone to get to where they were now. And without my shows and without my concept, they would never been there. And where was I? I was nowhere to be found. And they made sure of it very, very well. In 2009, Mark was responsibly selected by Elizabeth Murdoch to head up Australian division of leading international production group, Shine, since launching in early 2010. Mark has overseen the successful placement and roll out and production such as The Voice, MasterChef, Junior MasterChef, and America's Next Top Model. As we spoke before, another session, America's Next Top, Next Top Model, was another production and the same concept as all of the other shows that I just mentioned now. I'm going to end this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll get back to you with more, more information. Listen to it again and again until it will sink in. All the companies that merged together, all the shows that produced in Australia and started in Australia. Big shows, big money. Thank you for listening. Michelle Rose, Melbourne, Australia, Moshit Klein in Israel.